What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I have for you an app review for an app called Grover Podcast. As you know, I've looked at other podcast apps in the past, uh, and I'll put those things probably like right here. Um, but the idea is Grover Podcast is a straightforward podcast application by the developer Matthias Ignacio, I believe if I said it right. And it's a good application in my opinion. It checks off mostly all the boxes that i like out of a podcast app um especially on windows a native podcast app is uwp and everything like a lot of people that watch this channel uh also like and so without further ado let's go into it there's some things that i like about it and there are also some things that i like to be changed about it so as you know let's go in All right, so first what I wanted to do before I show you guys uh, the app itself, even though you see it in the background, is I wanted to show you the Microsoft Store listing for the application. Um, and this is essentially what they show or what uh, Matthias shows in it. And this is, it's pretty straightforward. You can see it has some fluent elements in it. It's not perfect. It's not the, the most uh, well-designed application, but it's pretty solidly well-designed in terms of an application. Um, so going through, these are just some of the pictures, some of the pictures that he puts on there. Um, like even this area here, I wish that he, if this is actually highlighted, I kind of wish he would explain what, what exactly we're looking at here. Um, but without further ado, all right, let's go back in and take a look. So right here, um, in fact, let me go back to this part, cause this is essentially the home screen for Grover podcast. And I've had this, this app on my computer for God, it's been a long time and uh, I've used it on and off. As you can tell, I have Windows Weekly, Mac Break Weekly, The Vergecast, PC Perspective and Daily Tech News Show. It's kind of shows I like and I watch, I listen to. And um, yeah, so this is the application. So this is basically going to be your home screen. Um, obviously, it won't have these saved things that I have saved on here. You got your player down here and you can see that if I highlight over this area, the show itself and click it, it jumps to the show. And believe it or not, timestamps do in fact work. So you see I'm at 11 minutes. If I hit zero, it goes to zero, which is something amazing to me that timestamps work because a lot of apps, including iPad podcast apps and things like that, timestamps don't work. Uh, it's hard to view the, the show notes and things like that. But this one, it just works. If I want to hit to go to the LG uh, 16 by 18 monitor, I can do that and go back and then these links down here, if any links pop up, this will go to your default web browser uh, of choice on Windows. So you can click those links and it'll go to that. And you can see right there, as I highlighted, it even froze the application. So that's another little thing. I'm not sure if it's Windows 11 or not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna exit out and I'm gonna come back in. All right, so now that I'm back in the application after that initial crash, you know, if you watch this channel, you know that I will show you those kind of things that come in. I'm not going to make it perfect on purpose because I want to show the real as if I'm talking to you guys, as if you guys are my friends, that this is what this thing does, just like Flossie Carter pretty much does. So going in, you got your my podcast menu, which if in fact you see that my podcasts are there, Windows Weekly, you got a subscribe button. So if you click subscribe, you can type in a podcast feed URL and it'll automatically start aggregating the podcast into your little my podcast area. You can sort the podcast just by clicking it. You can see even there's some fluency behind it by seeing that, you know, Paul Therott, Mary Foley behind, it's kind of blurred out. You can't really tell uh, what you're looking at through the text. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it's got those elements that we like in it. Uh, you got your playlist button, uh, which you can save different podcast playlists, which I'll show later on in the video. You got your unplayed uh, and you can just keep going through and see everything you've unplayed. I've actually played most of these. Uh, and then you hit download. And you can see all the podcasts that you downloaded. By default, it will try to refresh the podcast as you see down here and read and download the latest ones um, as soon as they come out. So that's pretty cool. So Daily T DTNS or Daily Tech News Show, it just downloaded that one today and things like that. And then you got your now playing, which is what I showed you in the beginning, which shows you the show notes of the podcast, the artwork, details and all that stuff that you need to do. In fact, you can even with this screen alone, you can even go to the podcast title and click on it. And then it'll take you to essentially the store, which uh, lets you just find your podcast that you want, how long it is, and you can hit download. You can hit, you know, mark as played, trash, or even more options here, which is a whole lot of things here. So it's it's pretty in depth in terms of uh, podcast. Uh, I'm not sure if I remember if this pin to start really works still. Let me make sure. Uh, yep, so it still works. That's good. 
Uh, I just wanted to make sure because I wasn't exactly sure. It's been a second since I've uh, like clicked on this specific specific function. Uh, but you can see overall, it's it's a good looking application. It's got all the things you need. It's got a way to copy the URL of the podcast, go to links to the actual website. You can see the feed URL depending on if they chose to put it there. It's nice. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to skip over refresh podcast and go to get podcast in store because this is something that obviously if you don't have anything saved you've never used it before this is what you'll go to first in order to get podcasts now i'm going to bring in the quirk of this application and it's that compared to apple podcast stitcher and all those other applications out there let's say i was to bring up uh npr's up first podcast right and i wanted to play an episode if you notice when i click on anything there's no way for me to play it you know i can hit close it doesn't play it it's just there's no way to play it the only way that I found to be able to play a podcast, even when I click this, is to hit subscribe. And when I hit subscribe, like even up here, then it'll add it to my library here. And then if I click on it here, and then I can click something and then it'll play. So that's essentially like the annoying thing. And that's what I want to be fixed when I said in the intro that some quirks with it that I want to be fixed. It's let me not have to subscribe to any podcast and let me just be able to go to the store. Let me be able to click on a podcast like the MLK tapes, right? And let me just be able to hit the title and just hit play. Just make it make it play the podcast. And then if I really like it, then I'll hit subscribe, whether it's here or here. And that's it. But this doesn't do that. And that's kind of my, that's one of my gripes uh, for this player versus the other one that I took a look at uh, a while back, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, is it doesn't let you just hit play while you're using the application. Now, everything else here is good. And, you know, you got a sleep timer. So the podcast just stops playing after a while. Because if you're like me, uh, you sometimes fall asleep to these things. And so uh, if you fall asleep and then you're sleeping and then it just keeps playing more and more podcasts and then there's a loud sound, you're going to wake up. So if you set a sleep timer to it, you can just keep going or till when the episode ends and then you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. You can set the speed of the podcast's voice and you know audio playback, skip forward 30 seconds, back 10 seconds. It's pretty nice. You click this, you can cast the device. So that's whether it's your headphones or to your Chromecast or to your smart TV, you can do that. Um, and then if you hit refresh podcast or right here, uh, it basically just refreshes uh, right here, this area here of your podcast. Last thing that I want to show you guys with this application was uh, the fact that you can go to settings and all the information here for settings, you've got your uh, where the podcast saved to, which I might have to change that because I don't want it on my boot drive. Uh, you got your refresh, so it'll automatically look for new episodes as soon as you open up the application. You got playlists and all these things. These are your podcast defaults, download episodes, automatically download new episodes um and just a lot you can set the increments of how far you know going back or going forward will be so you can go between five seconds up to 60 seconds forward and back um so you see right there and then opml format basically that's just a format where if you want to import it or export your podcast um to another podcast player app uh you can do that if that other player supports it and it'll just Bring all your data over to that app so you don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again. And then in order to change the background here, um, you have to change your Windows theme. And that's pretty much the sum of it. There's not really any options as far as I've seen for light and dark theme or anything like that. You do have more things. You do have review. You have Grover Pro. And that takes you to the store. You see if I click it, it'll switch podcast apps to the store and open up Grover Pro. I haven't paid for Pro. This is Grover Free. Um, and as far as I can tell, Grover Free does everything that I could possibly want from a podcast app other than that playing an, an, uh, a, a podcast without me um, needing it to subscribe first. Um, so there's one thing, though, that I wanted to close it out with um, that I wanted to test out with this application that I wasn't sure if I wanted to do. So I'm going to type in something like Windows Weekly. And I'm gonna to check to see what the difference between these two are. This is video and this is audio. So one of the nice things with this application is it supports video podcasting. So if I wanna to listen to the latest Windows Weekly that was this Wednesday and I wanna hit play, of course I can't do that because I forgot you have to subscribe first. So I'll hit subscribe, go back, and then I think, yep, it's right here. It says video right on the side. Click it and then let's say I wanna hit play and then let it load. It's time for Windows Weekly. Paul Therata, Mary Jo Foley are here. And then there you go. You see Leo yeah, Laporte no... talking and doing things. I can pause it. 
and there you go. So it supports video podcasts. And if I minimize it, I can still, you know, move it around and do things with it. You can see that it uses up the whole top bar, which is nice. Um, and now I can even shrink it down to something like this or something like this. Uh, the resolution I'm recording, obviously, in is 2560 by 1440. So this is how it's going to look well, without any borders in this kind of mode. I don't see anything like a, not a picture-in-picture -picture mode, but like a, like a pop-out mode. I don't see that. So that's another feature I would like is like a pop-out mode for the video portions. So I can just always have the video on top and it's just popped out um, like that. So in a nutshell, that is it. That is Grover Podcast. Um I definitely recommend it because it's it's simple, it's straightforward, and it just if you just need a podcast application on your computer and you don't want to go through your web browser or anything like that, this it's this is so simple and straightforward. Other than that one quirk that I hope they fix, uh, that I could just definitely recommend it. I'm not sure what the pro version adds, so I guess as much as I hate ads in my apps and everything. I guess what I would like is in the store listing for the pro version. In fact, if we click the gear icon and hit Grover Pro, it wants to open up the store. So in the store listing for the pro version, I kind of want the, um, the developer to tell me what is the difference? What's the difference between the pro version and the free version? I know they have features here, but for someone who just wants to look on the store, click on your name, and pick an application that you've made and scroll down and see things. I see, I know that there are less things here than there are on the pro thing, but maybe make it so that way, just in the features portion, you can see this is what the pro version is and this is what the free version is. Or in a nutshell, just make them one app and just say there's an app purchase for the pro version um, so you can unlock these more features if you want, and that's it. So I guess that's my only thing in a nutshell that I really need to say about this application. If you enjoyed this video and you, you have more applications that you would like for me to take a look at, let me know in the comments section below or send me an email at contact at nextwindows.com and I'll take a look to see if it'll go up on the channel. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this app if you use it. And if you're the developer, I'd love to chat. I'd love to chat about some potential features to maybe add if I can think of any. My name is Kwaku and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And before I go, uh, there's a Discord channel out there linked in the description box. You'll see the link to it. Feel free to join it. We're getting more and more people. I think we're getting closer and closer to like 20 people now on there. So that's pretty dope. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one.